Praise the name of the Lord. Family, once again, you're welcome. You're welcome to yet another amazing and an awesome session. It's your friend and your sister, Dr. Irene. Of course, I bring you an awesome word from the Lord. I want to thank all those that are checking already to this particular session. You are my family and probably it's your first time to click on my video. Special thank you to you. Special welcome to you. Do not forget to subscribe, like, share. No person to preach the gospel, no person to reach out to the world with the love of God. Beloved, the Lord gave me this word. It's a very timely word. I he gave me this word it was for somebody and i've actually passed the message out to that person but i feel that this word is more like a word that many more people should key into it so that they should be blessed and they should reap the reward of this particular thing and the lord says i should tell you take it he says i should tell you take it now you know a lot of people uh, base their beliefs on people's experience on people's opinions and on people's uh, uh what they have gone through you know somebody might have a bad experience with something and based on that they want to generalize it to everybody but that is not so the law says you should take you should test him for yourself now the scripture says in the book of first first corinthians chapter 11 from verse number 23 it says for I receive from the Lord what I also pass on to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me and now i love what verse 6 says verse 6 says for whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup you proclaim the lord's death until he comes and the lord says i should tell you take it take the holy communion now your life has been held in bondage because of this particular this particular uh, 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 sacrament that you are not respecting, you don't take the Holy Communion. You are, you, although you are born again and everything, but you don't take the Holy Communion. And right now you are sick in your body. He says, whenever you do this, you are proclaiming his death, the death of the Lord. And it is, that's why the Bible says, by his stripes you were healed. It is when you proclaim that death that you can be able to get your healing. And he says, this word is for you. Even if you don't have access to go to church to take the Holy Communion, get your bread in your house now. Get your water in your house now. Pray for it. Open the scripture. Pray for it. As you take it, healing will start in your body and you will be delivered completely in Jesus' name. Amen.